talk um, for this session um, and something different. Um, and as a perfect segue into the lunch break, um, we have Bronwyn Blake from the Vast Valley Hemp Farm and she's going to be talking about eating hemp for health and why good fats are so essential for our health and well-being and why everyone should be eating hemp foods every day. And I hope you all enjoyed the hemp muffins that were morning tea break and the cookies that were really good. So I look forward to hearing you talk, Bronwyn. Thank you. interested in CBD oil, medicinal cannabis products. Am I right? Is anyone here using CBD oil or tried it before? It's illegal. It's illegal. It's, yeah, it's illegal. We don't do it. We would love to do it, but we don't um, because it is illegal. We don't have the licensing. You can't just go and sell it willy nilly. But people were coming to us all the time asking for it and asking where they can get it from. And I didn't like recommending that they get it from overseas. I didn't like recommending that people get it from backyard operations because you just don't know what you're getting and putting into your body. So I'm a bit of a scientist. Well, I am a scientist, not just a bit of a scientist. <laughs> um, and I started doing what scientists do best, and that is research. Because it, it was frustrating, really frustrating that we couldn't help these people more who were coming to us in desperation with chronic pain, they can't sleep, they've got all sorts of autoimmune diseases, we needed to help them. So my question was, why does medicinal cannabis, a single plant, treat such a wide range of health ailments? Why is it so effective? Who's heard of the endocannabinoid system? I wish there were more hands up. I really do. Yeah, there's another one. Okay, so by the end of this talk, you all, we should all put your hands up now because you have heard of it now. Everyone put your hands up, please. I'm going to explain a little bit about this to you and why everybody needs to know about this. So the endocannabinoid system is, well, it's actually only been quite recently discovered. We've been using, or humans, mankind, have been using medicinal cannabis for millennia but this system was only discovered in 1992. So we still need to learn a lot about it. There's a lot of research happening in this space, but it's actually a really, really ancient system. It evolved about 600 million years ago. So you'll find the endocannabinoid system in mammals, in reptiles, in birds, dinosaurs would have had it. You know, it's even in mollusks, in the humble sea urchin. And what this means because it's so ancient, is that it's highly integrated with numerous physiological and biological con um, reactions within our bodies. And that's why medicinal cannabis treats such a wide array of health conditions because the endocannabinoid system is right throughout our body. 
All right, so now I thought, okay, so we've got this endocannabinoid system, and I know that cannabis works, but how and why <coughs> does it work? And um, the reason is that our bodies are actually capable of producing their own cannabinoids. Who knew that? Hmm. A few people, not everybody. Now you know. Our body produces endocannabinoids, okay? Endo meaning coming from the body. Cannabis ha produces, well that has cannabinoids obviously, but these are called phytocannabinoids, that means they come from the plant. And phytocannabinoids are structurally similar to endocannabinoids, so they can actually bind with the receptors in our system. Here's a little bit more of a deep dive into the endocannabinoid system. So there are three main players. You've got the endocannabinoids, the main two ones, anandamide and 2 arachidonyl glycerol. We'll call that 2 AG because it's such a dreadful name. Um, and we've got receptors and then there's enzymes that synthesize and break down the cannabinoids. So your endocannabinoids, they are the messengers. They will bind to the receptors and send the messages throughout the body. And they, this system works together to create homeostasis in your body. Homeostasis is balance or harmony. All right, when your body's not in balance, things start to go wrong. So my next question was, okay, phytocannabinoids. So cannabinoids coming from cannabis, they work for so many people. How have we lived so long and been in good health without using cannabis? it sort of demonstrated to me that there must be some sort of deficiency, okay? There's something wrong with our endocannabinoid system. Our body maybe is deficient in endocannabinoids. There is a, a theory out there called endocannabinoid deficiency. Um, I don't think it's been really proven yet, but no doubt science will catch up eventually. So the question is what is causing this deficiency? And I am gonna get to hemp very, very soon, I promise. I'm taking on a bit of a journey here because I want you to understand why hemp is so healthy and why it's therapeutic and why you should be eating it every day. So <coughs> endocannabinoids are primarily synthesized from fatty acids. Every cell in our bodies has a lipid membrane. Neurotransmitters are also synthesized or composed of fatty acids. All right, we need fats in our diet. Our body can produce some of these fats, fatty acids itself, but some of them we can only get from our diet. These are the essential fatty acids, so they're mainly omega-3s and 6s. Now it's not just a matter of eating a stack of omegas, okay, you need to have them in the right balance as well. All right, I'm going to focus mainly on omega-6 and 3 here. So we need to have omega-6 in the right balance because too much omega-6 is pro-inflammatory. Too much of anything is bad for you, right? And omega-3 deficiency is actually quite common um, throughout the world, especially in the Western world. The ideal balance of omega-6 to 3 is about 1 to 1. Okay, you've got a bit of fat either side, pardon the pun. Um, and omega-3 deficiency, I'm oh, sorry, most of us consume about 16 to 1, so that's way, way too much omega-6, way too much. And a lot of us have omega-3 deficiency, and that's linked to inflammation, mental health disorders, autoimmune diseases, and all of these are linked to the endocannabinoid system. So I'm just going to show you some fatty acid profiles from some common vegetable oils here, and I want you to concentrate on the green and the yellow parts of the graph. So the green is omega-3, the yellow is omega-6. So let's look at sunflower oil for example. Lots of omega-6, too much and very little omega-3. So it's not good for you. Same as soybean oil, too much omega-6. A lot of your cheap and highly processed vegetable oils have a lot of omega-6. What you will notice, oh, so olive oil and canola oil, they've got a pretty good ratio, but the quantity is not there. Um, so flax and hemp are the standouts here, of course. And chia is another one that should be on there. So chia, hemp, and flax, they're your super seeds. They've got fantastic omega profiles. You need to eat these every day. 
Uh, something else that's unique to hemp is uh, it's got gamma, gamma linoleic acid, so GLA. This is quite uncommon in the plant uh, kingdom. So this, this helps with a lot of um, neurological functions as well, with skeletal health, hormonal balance, uh, and skin and nail uh, growth as well. So that's what the, one of the things that sets hemp apart from flax is it contains GLA. I am going to deep dive a little bit more into hemp now and why else you should be having it in your diet every day. So this, uh, this slide shows you uh, the percent RDI, so that's the recommended daily intake of some macronutrients in two tablespoons of hemp seeds. Okay, This is not the oil I'm talking about, this is the actual hemp heart, the little white seed that we see in all the shops. It contains in two tablespoons about 15% your RDI of zinc, and, sorry, for iron, and 21% zinc. Zinc's very important for immune support. It contains about 21% protein, and this is where it's again superior to flax and chia in that it contains a higher quantity of protein, but also a better quality of protein. Right, and a lot of people aren't getting enough protein, good quality protein in their diets, particularly the aging population. All need to be getting those essential amino acids into the diet. Magnesium. Now, hemp contains, like in two tablespoons, 45% of your recommended daily intake of magnesium. Magnesium is important for hundreds of biochemical reactions in your body. And experts say that a lot of people aren't getting enough magnesium in their diet. A lot of people are taking magnesium supplements. So there's your red flag demonstrating that we're not getting enough magnesium in our diets. Um, magnesium's good for, for muscle repair and um, a whole range of things, which I really can't remember off the top of my head right now, but you need to eat it. That's the take home message. <laughs> And look at the omegas. You know, two tablespoons, you've got more than enough omega-3. Okay, one teaspoon is probably enough if you're just aiming for omega-3s. Okay, some key messages, because that was a lot of information, and I apologize for the text, but I'm a visual person, and I need to actually see something written down to absorb it. So what I want you to take home today is that the human body produces its own cannabinoids. They are primarily synthesized from fatty acids, things we get through our diets. The ce all cells in the body are made of fatty acids and we need these in the right proportion or things just start to go wrong. I mean, look at the autoimmune diseases that are around today, diseases that didn't exist 100 years ago. It's because we're not getting enough nutrients in our diets. Uh, hemp seeds contain the right proportion of omega six to three for our requirements, and they also contain a good quality source of protein, a source of magnesium, and some other stuff in there too, like phosphorus and vitamin E. So I, I actually encourage you all to learn a little bit more about this topic, about the endocannabinoid system, and there are more things you can do than just eating hemp, of course. You know, hemp's not saving the world. You need a varied diet, you need a balanced diet. Uh, there's some good blogs on our website. Um, about omega-3, just some basics about the endocannabinoid system and some other tips on what you can eat and lifestyle changes you can make to stimulate this and make sure you maintain homeostasis in your body. Thank you very much. I, am, I have a stall up the back there and all of our products are on sale today. So I implore you to come and have a chat with me about what you can be doing to help you and your family and learn a little bit more about our products. Thank you for your time.